these individuals out into the community in the first place? Oh, that's a good question. I don't understand if it, it should not, it should do something about it. They're right in the midst where there's all kinds of kids, little ones, playing. They don't realize what's in danger for them. David Benzies for the Rebel News here in Hamilton. Well, what an outrage. Gordon Stuckless, the serial pedophile, made infamous by his antics at Maple Leaf Gardens in which he lured young boys into his lair with the promise of hockey tickets and autographs and sports paraphernalia. Well, despite more than a hundred charges uh, in terms of his pedophile behavior, he is out on day parole. Now, you may recall, he's, he's already done years in the Slimer, but last year the Crown considered it inefficient. He was tried again. He was sentenced last June to 10 years. It's just a, not even a year later, folks, and he's out on day parole. He is residing at this halfway house, which is just a half block away from a park where children... Now, the street he is talking about is right on John M. Robert. There are several halfway houses there. Just to let you know, this person isn't the only pedophile there that hangs out along there. Just to let the citizens know, we're going to continue because Hamilton, Ontario has over 2,500 pedophilers. Why? Because we are a sanctuary city. Just like we can't refuse refugees, we can't refuse murderers, and we sure to hell can't refuse pedophilers being a sanctuary city. Play McLaren Park. This is incredible. Now, I've been waiting out here for a couple of hours uh, trying to see if I can catch uh, Mr. Stuckless. Uh, however, I'm now going to go and see if I can get an interview with the executive director of this facility and find out why he's here and why he was released in the first place. I mean, his lawyer, Ari Goldkind, who, if you can believe it, folks, actually ran for mayor of Toronto, um, he says uh, Stuckless is not a threat to anyone, that um, he's had uh, an exemplary record in the last several months. Well, yeah, of course, because he was behind bars. He turned his life around. He made a vow never to harm another hair on a child's head. And as for the Hamilton police, it appears that they didn't even warn this neighborhood that a serial pedophile is here. I'm going to try to get a comment from them, too. In the meantime... The reason why is because the police department protects pedophilers. Because, again, we are a sanctuary city. Not only do they do it, but the government does it too. Like I said, we have over 2,500 of them. The police department are probably not going to talk to these individuals, and neither will your government. Take my word on it. Let's see what the executive director of St. Leonard's, the halfway house where Stuckless is staying, has to say about this. Oh, hi, are you Mr. Clinton? Yeah, hi, Mr. Clinton. David Menzies from Rebel News. I'm just trying to find out if um, uh, Gordon Stuckless would be available for an interview, please. No. Oh, okay. Well, we, I wouldn't even confirm Gordon Stuckless's uh, address or where he's at. But this is, you know. Oh, isn't not, it a given that he resides here? Or? No, it's not a given. Oh, okay. It's not a given, and, and we don't give out personal information. Or right. why, can you tell me, Mr. Clinton, why is there such protection? And again, even if he is staying there, which I know he is because that's where they all stay. I'm telling you as a person who ran for mayor in this city twice. And the person and the reason why they protect him is because it is his job and nothing more. And this is what your government does under private sector, private meetings, and you vote for the same people over and over again, and it'll never get better. For the privacy of a serial pedophile. Um, I'm not going to speak about any specific case. I think that everybody deserves privacy. Is there any kind of guarantee that the citizens of Hamilton have that this man won't reoffend? Uh, there, there's never any guarantee about any of our behavior, is there? What I do know is that... Now, he just finished saying that he wasn't guaranteed of the gentleman being there, but when this gentleman asked him that question, he's going to answer it saying that everybody deserves a second chance, but remember, he wasn't staying there. That this person, uh, you know, people that are coming out have been deemed safe for release to the community by a group of people whose job it is to make, assess that risk. And are their jobs on the line if they make the wrong call? I don't know the answer to that question. 
I'm just wondering if you have any empathy for the, the outrage and the anger out there that any kind of individual, without naming names, would have such a odious record and be released into the community. I, I think I do have a pretty good idea. Well, I've been doing this for a long time, and St. Leonard's has operated in Hamilton for 43 years. Do you, can you give me your record in terms of those visitors to St. Leonard's that re-offend? Uh, very, very low. Close to zero. Um, that is a lie. As soon as they're finished, before their parole, they re-offend again. Obviously, he says he's been doing it for 43 years, and this is all just a scandal from our government protecting pedophilers, murderers, rapists, nonstop, while you vote for them. It's that good, then. What is it you do that you're able to turn around their behavior? So, people coming out of prison greatly benefit by uh, help with the, the transition from being in prison to being back in the community. The option would be that they come. They transition from help. For the last five years, you are allowed to get methadonia inside of all of your jails. You are allowed Oxycontin. You are allowed every drug over there. Lorazepam, you mention it. Our government gives it all to you. I'm not understanding why people are hooping things up their ass when they can get it all anyways. But with no help. When people have access to supports in the community, when people have access to, if, they're, if they need employment or housing, when they have access to, to develop those things before they're uh, out of Access to unemployment. Why don't you give them a job with the children's aid? Why don't you give them all a babysitting fucking job? How fucking pathetic is the city of fucking Hamilton doing nothing but protecting fucking pedophilers and you wonder who vote in the same fucking people? Hamilton, Ontario, you deserve having all this fucking garbage here. And my cameraman is bigger than me, which is my fucking son. And I'm glad he's a lot fucking bigger than me. And you can all fuck right off. Protect your children. But vote in the same cocksuckers and have the same police that were charged here 25 times last year. And you're going, Phil Ryerson, there's something wrong with you. Fuck right off. I can't even do it anymore.